Hello and welcome back to the Tap Bells YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know, I'm Tap Bells. Today we are at Evolve Automotive in Luton and we are going to, we're here to see a very special M2, not just any M2, an M2 GTS. This car is called Starla and we're gonna go see Imran. He owns Evolve and we're gonna, we're gonna go talk around the car. He's gonna tell us about the car and then we're gonna go out in the car. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Imran? <laughs> Are you under a bonnet? <laughs> so, everybody, let me introduce you to Imran. Hey. Okay. <laughs> How you doing, Emma? Very well, very well. Um, yeah, so this is this is the M2 GTS. This is Imran. So this is your... Well, you, I'll let you talk. Tell me about the vehicle. Okay, so the car started off as an M2 and a whole... Uh, project in this car was to make it an M2 GTS because obviously BMW made M4 GTS yeah. but no M2 GTS yeah so we kind of did it within the first two months of buying the car yeah back in 2015 2016 yeah okay so yeah the our whole idea behind the car was to make it look like the GTS version of the M2, the M2 yeah. so if BMW ever did make one I think this is probably what it yes. would have looked like I've got to ask yes Starla Yes. So, where, did, where did the name come from? So we started something new with this car and we started uh, doing what Americans do and naming the cars. Okay. okay. So I wanted to the car, call this car Ghost because okay. I watch Power. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> my wife didn't like great, it. Great, great, great. My, my wife didn't like it. Right? <laughs> so then um, she got my daughter yeah. to tell me. My daughter was six at the time. Yeah. Five. She got my daughter to tell me that she wanted to name the car Starla after her favourite character from a programme called Blaze and the Monster Machines. Now when your six, seven, your six year old daughter comes up to you with a little eyes and that's says, it. you have to call the car Starla, I had no choice. <laughs> so that's really that's, sweet. That's where the name that's comes from. That's where the name comes from. Okay, yeah. so starting at the front end, I can see this obviously, this is not OEM. <laughs> no, so that is very uh, stone chipped as well now, because so I we'll, actually we'll drive the car. In. Yeah, you actually <laughs> drive, the, drive car. the car. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is a, a GTS style front splitter. Okay. It's made by uh, my friends in America for RKT Composites. Awesome. So it's an exact replica of the M4, yep. but shrunk down in size to match. The uh, and it's the same with the bonnet, so yep. that's carbon fiber as well. Yeah. Um, again, that's actually the OE GTS vent, okay. so it fits so straight it into it. Wow. So that whole middle part is a replica of the M4, but then obviously done on the M2 yes. bonnet. And we've left it partially painted. As you yeah. can see. Now I love this. So I'm, I've got a real thing for paint, as everyone knows that anyway. I've got, a, I've got an obsession with paint and finishes and things like and that. Protecting it. And protecting it. And protecting it. Yes. But when I looked at this, I was like, I can, I can actually see the carbon weave on the bonnet. And the only other cars that I've seen that with is an F50, F50s and F40s when it's original paint. And that's, I, I'm like, oh, I love it. I love painted. I just, I love to see the weave through the paint. It's something, it's something really sad. <laughs> it, looks I, cool. it looks cool. It looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, um, we're sticking with the orange on the car because the GTS has orange. Yeah. But instead of using the BMW acid orange, we've used a Lamborghini Gallardo. I call Gallardo orange, but I think it's called Orenco or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've, we've kind of used that orange <laughs> throughout the car, in the interior, on the outside, yeah. and all the pinstriping. Yeah. So that is actually one of the first modifications we did, and that's the carbon ceramic brakes. Oh, yes. From the M4, <laughs> so they no, sure. they're 400 mil discs. Okay. So yeah. they're very light. Very, and very they break cool. ridiculously well, as you will see when you take the car out. Uh, the wheels are also 19 inch forged, and that's one of my own designs. Yeah, and this is. 660 design. 660 design these wheels and they, they're only exclusive obviously you can only get them from 660 design. Yeah. Um, and they are awesome. Absolutely. They're really, they're really light. Really and light. The design is, is really cool as well. Yeah. As Very special. And we've carried the orange over Around. into one yep. spoke. Yeah, I like that. that. I do like that. Um, so as you on. come along you've got a side skirt from the F80 uh, 2M4. Yeah. Which okay. is basically shortened to fit 
into this and <laughs> all the paintwork on this car and the roof fitting was done by my friend at Pottery Coachworks ish okay. Okay. so he's really talented I see them popping up all over so yeah the carbon roof which M2s don't have yeah, so absolutely. as we were discussing earlier everyone's like getting really excited about this new M2 that's going to come out it's going to have a carbon roof you've already done it I've done it like, and two years, years ago yeah I know <laughs> exactly so that would be well you're way ahead of the game there yeah they're talking about that car coming out in 2020, 2020 so that's four years ahead of the curve um, so the roof's also same style as M4, so what they call double bubble. Double bubble? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so bubble here. Yeah, yeah, I like it, I like uh, it. <laughs> yeah, so the interior no, we changed the completely as well. Okay, so the seats are Cobra Nagoro, um, and they're retrimmed in uh, black leather and Alcantara. Uh, we've changed all the stitching in the car from blue to orange, because they're probably blue. Yep. So even around the door cards, we have Alcantara with orange stitching. And to follow the theme through, we've done the roll cage mm. in the same colour. And the colour's pearlescent as well, so when the sun hits it, you see the hues of gold and yellow. And, and that also comes out in the, in the actual body colour of the car, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does, yeah. yeah. Because we've had the cars really detailed really well. When yeah. the sun hits it, it almost has like a gold fleck. Mm. In it, even though it's standard BMW paint. I mean, I think you guys thought it was. Flip I know, paint, I did. I did not, think it was. Just well paint. It's just, it looks yeah, very well prepped. Very yeah. well prepped. So yeah, my the the guy who does all the paint work for me in terms of detail is Andy at Unique, and he's been in the game for ages and just out. awesome <laughs> doing it. Check him yeah. out. <laughs> um, suspension wise, we're running Bill Stein B16 coilovers. Okay. All round. Um, so that obviously improves the handling and it mm -hmm. provides us with a nice start. So we want yes, it looks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the car is not actually that low. It looks low because of the side skirts mm. and the front lip, but it's still very practical. I mean, I can still get over speed bumps and yeah. everything quite well. <laughs> so it's not too bad. Um, the rear wing, again, GTS style. That's by, done by my friends in Germany called Edison Composites. I think that it just completes the car. It really, really. Yeah. Does. I think if you want to do an aggressive splitter, you need. Something at the back. Yes. To match the, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It always and tie it together. <laughs> I think if uh, before BMW done the M4 GTS, if, we, if we'd put this on, people would have thought it was chavy. Mm. But because they've done it now, it becomes yes. acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird how it works. And it's adjustable and you can change it here. Yeah, you, know, you can adjust the downforce. Do. Yeah, depending yeah. on how you drive the car. So you can drive on track, you can give it more yeah. downforce. Okay. Um, at the rear of the car, same company made a front seat at RKP Composites make the rear diffuser yeah. and we've got a full super sprint exhaust it sounds amazing I mean N55 is probably my favourite sound of BMW engine apart from the V10 M5 mm. and the exhaust just makes it sound <laughs> I haven't cool. heard it yet yeah it sounds like a race car you'll see I'm, I'm very it very excited for this and then yeah the rear diffuser has got the orange to go through it as well and yeah. then this is the <laughs> yeah so I mean, power-wise, the car can run up to 440 if we run what's in the tank, yeah. which is more of methanol. But currently, it's about 420. It's about 420 yeah. because I prefer to run it at that yeah, kind you don't of need, yeah. power. So basically, <laughs> we do that by evolving you to CSF intercooler okay. and uh, full exhaust. So in the back, that's the more of methanol tank. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. I think this, for me, this car is about balance, and I yeah. think once you give it too much power, you kind of spoil yeah. the balance from the car. Now that you've seen around the outside of the car, we're going to have a look under the bonnet. Now, this is Eventuri, this is another company that Imran co, co owns. Yep. And this is all about the, the carbon fiber air intake system. That's correct, yeah. So, this is an uh, intake system for the M2, uh, which we've had designed. The uh, design is actually patent pending, so we've actually reversed the filter design if you want to. Have a look at how it works in basically oh. on the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a have look. look. I know also because we had the opportunity to do it, we made the carbon engine cover because the engine cover is plastic and yeah, takes up a lot of um, space. So yeah, as well to get the OEM ones. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I mean, look at look at this. <laughs> yeah, so under the bonnet, that's all you can see, yeah. and then it's obviously the engine tuning and the exhaust. Yeah. But now it's time for me to take it out for a spin. Let's hear it. Let's hear it start up. Bro. <laughs> So now Annabelle is driving <laughs> the fabled M2 GTS. Beast mode. You're one of them. Ah. <laughs> I always find it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I Always warm your car up before driving it hard. Exactly. Very important. 
<laughs> so we've swapped, we've swapped over him now. He's now driving, so it's it's, it's not just little Miss Me, little Miss Daisy driving along now. Now we get to see my reactions, which I'm sure you will, you will like. <laughs> this is where the hair goes everywhere. <laughs> Do a three car overtake. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I just got air, like myself in this thing. <laughs> now, I've been wanting to, to drive this car for a very long time, and I can tell you now it lives up to my expectations. 100%. I've been pestering him around for, well, God, for, since he's had it, <laughs> since he's had it, um, to drive it, and finally I get to, and I, in this car, I mean, I want one, I want an M2, and the thing with M2s, actually, is you can pick them up pretty damn cheaply, we were talking about it er earlier, on like lease deals and things, you can, you know, a couple grand down, and it's three to four hundred quid a month, I think that's, I mean, I might, I might do it, and then I might, I might make my own version. I'm, I'm joking. Maybe, 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 but not yet. I've got other things to focus on. But no, I wanted to say, you know, today has been awesome. You guys have got to check out Evolve Way Venturi. I'm going to list all the companies we've mentioned today in the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Give me a thumbs up um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe. I've got to say thank you, Timran. No problem, man. About any time. I'm glad <laughs> you got to drive it eventually. Me too. Finally. I finally. did offer like a year ago. I know. I, yeah. All right. So busy. <laughs> busy girl. I am here now. now. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, thank you so much. No and I'll be back very soon. Okay. Make sure you guys subscribe.